Hey guys, so today we're gonna go to, um, I did not turn off my lamp this morning. Today we're gonna go to, um, Dollar Tree, but, um, my mom was waiting for the traffic to die down. I just got out of a really hard workout, as you can see. It was, like, so much work. Like, my shirt is, like, soaking wet. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Because I tried out for track, which was not the best idea. I'm not in shape enough for But I wanted to take Skylar with me because, um, like, I don't know. I haven't taken the baby out on an outing in, like, since the summer. And I'd feel more confident taking Skylar. So, we're going to grab her. And we are going to use her car seat, but I want to get some different clothes on her. And then I'm going to take a shower, and then it should be time to go. Hi. Mommy smells like mustard. It's okay. Let's <laughs> go upstairs now. Let's go upstairs to the foot park. She's so big, like. She's all up on me. I'm gonna hold her head because we're going upstairs. I don't want her to bounce. There we go. Oh, my legs are sore. Oh, that hurt. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna do practice tomorrow. Lord help me. Lord, I'm gonna open the blinds. I gotta tell you guys this hilarious story. So I was, you know, you wake up in the morning and you like assume what time it is. Like you're just so used to waking up at a certain time that you're like, oh, I woke up. Okay, it's time to go. So that's what it is. You know, I woke up. You know, it was like. 20, so I hurried to get dressed because my bus is at 30, so like 6.30 in the morning. And so, you know, got dressed, got ready, right, right? And then I get there, I pull out my phone because it says no one is there, and I was like, did I miss the bus? Or are we on a two-hour delay? Because I was like, I'm sure I got out of the house in time. And then, um... Looked at my phone and it was 4.38 in the morning. Like in the a.m. And I was all like. And like I had two hours before I even had to be up. I really could have gone back to sleep if I had realized what time it was. But you know. So I thought I would tell you guys about that scenario. So I'm going to put this white. Um. So it's not white all the way, but you won't be able to see this because I'm going to put this dress on her. And then I'm going to put, I don't know how to put leggings or those pants. I should put leggings, right? I'll just put the leggings on her. They look cute on her anyways. Leggings. And then I'll just put the, oh yes, finally I have a good reason to use the fancy socks. So I got these fancy socks for her that, you know, have the little cute ruffles on them that girl socks have on them. Um, so I finally have a good excuse to use them because she's wearing a dress. So that's what we'll use today. And then that'll be her outfit. And then, um, she can use this hat. And we won't bring a diaper bag because we don't need it. Well, I'll bring my purse, but, you know, that's it. There we go. And then, here we go. So yeah, super adorable. And you can just pull these in and out so they can work for, like, pull them in and then the sock is longer. So yeah, I'm going to go get her dressed in a fast forwarding and then I'll be right back because I need to get her bottle ready too. Okay guys, so this is what we're looking at with her. The long sleeve white onesie. 
cute little hat. Little what? Passport that matches the little owls. Cute gray dress with some cute leggings. Of course, you can see that. And then these adorable little socks. So she looks like an absolute queen. This is what I would dress a princess in. Hi, baby. <laughs> Hi, little bug. So let's go ahead and put these clothes away so that the drawer doesn't get messy. Then I'm going to hop in the shower. Probably hand her off to one of her aunts for a few minutes. And then put this here for now. And I'm just going to put some pillows right here. She's like asleep right now. So we should be okay. That's why I'm not too concerned. Like, if she was awake, I would not take a shower right now. But she's asleep. Because we just got out the car. And she's really sleepy. They said that she didn't take any of her naps today. She was supposed to take two, she didn't take any. So I'm going to head into the shower. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so I'm getting ready to go. And I'll see you guys in the store. Something like that. Um, you have to let me know if you hadn't planned to come to come this way. Then we'll have to, you know, work out something else. But I love the. Yeah. So I love coming in the office. So we're gonna head back to the house, but I got a few things. Got a bunch of random stuff. Don't I even know. If, well, I know what I got, but you guys don't know what I'm gonna. I am gonna bring home. So I'll see you at the house, guys. Okay, guys. So I got a few things. I did not stick to the list at all because I completely forgot as soon as I walked in the store and started looking at stuff. I was like, what did I want? But I know I wanted a sippy cup because I'm starting to. Um, I think you call it weaning, um, Skyler off of bottles 
because I don't want her, like, I can kind of see her teeth coming in at the top, and I don't want her teeth to get messed up. Yeah. Mama. Yeah, so this is a spell proof one. And, yeah, and it's a really cute pink color. And then, so I've actually never have, have had a teether for her, but with sippy cups comes teethers. And it is so adorable. There's a little ring on it. And then there's a teether at the top, which is a little star. And then there's a little rattle in it, so she can play with it as well. And it is a water-filled teether rattle, 0 to 18 months, and it's from Sesame Beginning. Super, super cute. I don't see what it has to do. I think it's like Big Bird colors, but that's, I think that's it. So basically everything in here is for Skylar except for the baby powder, which is for the baby lives. Then I got some size 3 diapers for her because, um, you know, she just only has like a few diapers and, you know, she's running out, so yeah. And so obviously the last thing I got was BB powder. And yeah, I got the big container because I need to make it make food especially now that i have tyler there's gonna be a lot more food so i'm actually gonna open these kind of excited Ooh, yes did you see that how beautiful that was you know obviously i got the little paper back but you just stick your finger in that and you can like peel the whole thing off like literally so yeah see there's a little ring right here so it makes noise like This is kind of loose, but it's a, it is attached. It's just loose, which is fine so that you can, like, gnaw on it. I kind of like the ring. It's really cute, but it won't come off, so that's cool. And then, yeah, maybe that's what it looks like. Sorry, guys, one of my alarms went off. <clears throat> So yeah, there's nothing on here important. Then in this one, it is not, there's no company, it's just like, I'll show you, it's, there's no company, so I'm gonna rip that open. Why am I so smooth at opening stuff? Like, I'm the boss. I gotta unscrew the lid to get the uh, cardboard off, which is how it usually works. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Actually, actually, like, actually. And then here is the little, oop, little cup. So, yeah. And then there's the lid without the uh, thing. You can obviously see the jewels. That one is for air so that it doesn't leak. But, yeah. These are actually really nice. I love the plastic in here. It's, like, really good. And that's what it looks like with its end. And then... I like this. I'm actually going to make some milk in here in this video. And what I also like is that there is no way that you can tell. Um, like, it's not backwards. It's never going to be backwards because, you know, there's no nothing on it. And I like it also because it's like there's nothing for it to wear off. You know how with some sippy cups, if there's stuff on it, when you put it in the washer and stuff, it'll start to piece off. And then it looks cheap and fake. And then you're like, oh my gosh, my kid can't use this. My camera keeps cutting off. It's getting annoying. Anyways, guys. I want to sh I'm just going to get these out. I don't have enough patience. So there are five in here. And this is what they look like. They're humongous. I wish I had gotten a small size. Like, she is a size 3, but these are like a size 5, actually. I would hate to see what the size 5 looks like. Because that's, like, got to be enormous. And there actually is a wet strip, which I'm actually kind of shocked about. But the wet strip is like super high. Like these are obviously for boys. Anyways. So yeah. Oh look how cute little baby and Tweety Bird. When you don't know names here, you just go mm -mm -mm. and little frogs and stuff. Super cute. They're all the same, obviously, because it's they can't put enough that much work in it. It's from Dollar Tree. So I'm actually gonna make a bottle really quickly because I want to do that and then Skylar's actually downstairs 
right now, so I actually have to go get her. Sorry, guys. Oh, that was tragic. Picked it up and like started pouring out. Okay, so. I'm just gonna put like less than half the bottle in here because I know she's not going to eat it. Let's see. What can we do here? Oh, I was looking for the measurements. I kept spinning it, but, you know, there aren't any measurements. So we're going to do this. I kind of want to fill it up all the way. Like, honestly, I kind of want to. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm only going to fill it up to there because we still have to put the formula in. Okay, we're gonna try that much. Oh, whoa. Okay, so screw it on. I don't have to cover the little. I won't call it a nipple because that's not what it is. It's only what it was. Oh, it's leaking like everywhere. Why am I not shocked? Actually, oh wow, I love the little bubbles on the inside. That's one of my favorite parts about formula. How the little bubbles will form with the flash on, so it's like white light, so you can actually see what color it is. But it's a really good color, and it's still leaking, and it's getting on my nerves because I kind of bought this to not have any leaks. Yeah, it's definitely leaking. So. I don't think Skylar's gonna shake it up because when I give this to her, she'll be sitting up, so the only thing she'll really be doing is drinking. But you know, there we go. That's what we got. So cute. We didn't get any other bottles, but I kind of wanted to. I just want to test out a bottle, honestly. I honestly just want to test out this milk to see if it's like will get stuck to the edges. So I have the Avent bottle here. I'm gonna use that. Crack. Mmm, smells delicious. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and shake it up. There we go. Shake. Pulse the bottom. Doesn't even have that sticky effect that the formula does, but it's still good. I want to make sure. Oh, yeah. This one isn't like not as tight as it can be, but it's pretty much the only thing. Let's see. A little leak. Yep. And it's coming out the first, the like the big holes, like the ones on the nozzle. So it's like I think it's that rubber. It's not tight enough, but it's okay. I'm just gonna have fun with this. What is? Let's go get her. Okay, guys. Got a surprise. Little bug. Hey, buddy. Oh, she's trying to cling on it, mommy. It's like really time for her to go to bed. It's almost time for me to go to sleep. She's like actually just cuddled up right now. She just got back from the store, so we dressed her up really pretty. So I don't really get to go to the store too much. You should stay home. So, yeah. She's just relaxed. She looks absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. But we have a surprise for her. Obviously, she's a little kid, so she doesn't know, like... Actually, if I just hold the little thing, I don't get wet. So I think I can just start doing that. Just, you know, holding the tea. It's, like, no, that big of a deal. It's just, like... The good thing about spill proof bottles is like they don't spill, so it's like if you tip it over, it won't spill. And then Skylar can just drink from it, and I don't have to actually seal it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did not think that would work. I did it. Oh, she's drinking. It's a little big for her mouth, but she's drinking. Like, look, mommy, if you're gonna give me milk, I will find a way to drink it. Mm. Sorry guys. Right about 
right about dinner time for her, so she's like hungry. So this bottle can go have come out of bed or top the bottle. I'm gonna unwrap her hand so she can just hold it. I took Barry from you, but you got a new toy. Yay! Mm hmm. The bottle. Yeah, use this again. There we go. So. I am so proud of her right now. She, like, whenever she's sleepy, won't hold her bottles. I really think she likes a sippy cup. Or she's so hungry, she's just like, look. <gasps> when you find out stuff about your kid's toy and you're excited, like, oh, so you can move the whole thing or you can move this part. I'm sorry, this is probably super annoying. There you go. Take that up for you. Here, I take it. I know, but I'll let you. Okay. Let me stop playing with her toy and actually give it to her. <laughs> she's trying to like hold on to it, which is super adorable, but like the ring is kind of getting in the way. Say, uh oh. Let's see if we can hold that. Nope. I guess it's like too big for her hands right now. See if she'll knot on it a little. A little, she doesn't really like it. But she'll still play with it. It's actually really cute for the car seat, so. And then obviously the diapers. We won't give her a diaper change right now. But yeah, so we'll see you guys in and out. Okay guys, so we are gonna take little Miss Skyva here. Get her ready with all the things you see here. Diaper, her little teddy bear, her little passy, bottle, bottle, sleeper, hat. And of course we have little Miss Skyler. So her hat fell off while we were in the store and I didn't notice so we actually got outside. Well not outside, actually when we got home. So sadly we do not have her little hat anymore. Unless it's somewhere in the car which I didn't see it. But uh, it's okay. She will survive. So I am going to undress her and dress her and feed her and change her and all that stuff on a fast morning. Okay, guys, so Skylar is sleeping already. She fell asleep, knocked out cold, but I'm going to put her in the crib because, well, duh, what do you else would you do? So I'm gonna lie her down, get her blanket on her, and I'll show you when I'm done getting everything ready since it's like self-load and not you know filming food and obviously a little bear she's getting old enough to be able to sleep with it so it's kind of cute so i'll show you guys okay guys look how sweet and cute she is okay guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and remember have an amazing day bye